How's it going everybody? I wanted to throw together a quick video on some books that I have recently gotten. I've had this one for a little bit now, but because it's relatively new, within it's about a year old, I figured since I'm um, working through building out the segment routing section of the workbook, I've got segment routing itself and then the SRTE section I've got those pretty much done. Um, it's the SRV6 section that I'm currently trying to build out. It's gonna be a small section because of the fact that there's a lot that goes into it. But my goal is to understand it better. And as of right now, um, as part of my refresh process of service provider for CCNP, um, I'm struggling. I'll be honest with you. So this is not something that is clicking very quickly for me. So I have been going through and reading up on segment routing, trying to find different resources that will help me understand it better and stuff like that. And ultimately that's what you have to do, right? It's what one of the big things that when I, f I remember when I first started diving into MPLS, I had a really, really hard time wrapping my head around it. I read a lot of books, I watched a lot of videos, and trying to understand how it all worked. And because it's the configuration, and a lot of times, if you were, as long as you know what configuration to actually put into your devices to make stuff work, a lot of times you can get stuff working and all that type of stuff, right? So I remember when I first got into the industry, I would work on trying to get something to work, I would get it working. And because I had a, a project that I had to deliver by, or there was some sort of deadline that I had to have the implementation done by a certain time. But that didn't give me a lot of lead time to learn how this technology actually worked. So there were, and this is going back 10 plus years ago, there's, I doubt any of those solutions are still in play, but there were several times when I would have to get into a deployment where I'd have to deploy a particular topic or deploy a particular solution, but I really wouldn't be that knowledgeable on the topic. So if something broke after I had rolled it out, for me it was going back through my configurations and making sure that all the devices were configured properly. And then if they were, and it was still broken, and it was an operational thing, which is much more difficult to troubleshoot, I would end up having to reach out to the, the vendor and try to get their support and be like, hey, this is how I've got it configured. It was working correctly up to this point, and now it is not. And then have to rely on them to do it. So I don't like not being able to answer the question. And I don't recall a time where I've ever been in a situation where I don't have the answer because I'm a chronic overstudier, right? So part of that process has been trying to understand the technical pieces to what it is that I'm trying to get done. Right now, segment routing is the, the IPv4 portions of it where you're doing segment routing, uh, MPLS, uh, and, you know, whether it's V4, or V6, um, that piece right there is pretty straightforward, but SRV6 itself, I'm starting to get a hang the handle of it, but it's one of those things where it's just not clicking for me, right? Because when I go through verification commands and stuff like that, I see a lot of output, and I don't really know, other than the stuff that already looks familiar to me, like a BGP output, like I understand how to interpret a BGP output. But when you get into the SRV6 pieces to it, what these, uh, some of the, uh, the outputs are showing, I don't know what any of that stuff means. So because of the fact that I, do, I haven't spent the time to learn it, it's, that's right now is my, the bell curve that I've got. So what I'm doing is there, um, I'm, that's what I'm spending my time on right now is trying to understand SRV6 better than I can, you know, do, uh, then it'll, I'll have a holistic understanding of the protocol and the capability. So that's the challenging part, right? So anytime you're new to something, I feel like I'm starting over at my C, getting my CCNA again, 
right? That's kind of how I feel. And is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Um, I'm, I stepped outside of my comfort zone and I'm trying to learn something because what I eventually will end up doing is I will eventually end up reading this book, uh, probably the bulk of it, right? it's 2,000 pages. So I'm taking that and I'm tying it into the configuration guides that I've shown you in previous videos for the SRB6 config guides and the parts one, two, and three for segment routing, the, the books that you can get on Amazon. So I'm, I've got multiple uh, information sources that I'm trying to pull from because one of them by themselves sometimes doesn't answer the questions that I have, or it's just like, this doesn't make any sense. Like why, why does this work the way that it does? You know, but a lot of it is just uh, trying to layer on your understanding. And that's how I d did MPLS, right? When I first started diving into it, I didn't understand how it worked. But one thing that I do have to my benefit is I do have a lab that I can get this stuff up and running with. And as I'm going through the book and I'm trying to understand how the concepts all fit together, and I look at how, like, for example, n.dt4 what exactly does that mean? Like when I see that in the output, what should that correlate to and something I already understand? So sometimes you can tie it back to something you're already familiar with, other times you can't. And there's a lot of nuanced information in there that I'm trying to parse through and understand. So long story short, it is a, uh, it's time consuming, yes, but the reality of it is if you take your time and which is one of the reasons why I keep saying that I probably will have the workbook done by Labor Day, so I'm hoping early September, but that may not be the case. Like I'm not gonna try to rush the workbook uh, to get it completed just to hit a deadline. Um, if, I, I need, if I need to push the deadline out a little bit and be like, hey, listen, I've hit, um, I won't say a roadblock, but I'm currently working through a topic that is taking me longer to learn than I would have expected to, I don't think anybody's going to push back on that. Now, the reason why I say that is because the um, the the section when I uh, the way that I have it broken down in the workbook is it's a hyperlink, right? You click on a link and it takes you to a lab, and then I still haven't written any of the, the tasks yet in the workbook. But so when I get into the 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 task itself and you're and I'm giving the explanation I need to be able to detail out what the things are and if he's never covered that topic before then I need to be able to explain in easy to understand terms why you're seeing what you're seeing how to interpret it that type of stuff so I'm not there yet so I the workbook is kind of on hold until I can wrap my head around what these technologies mean, how they operate, that's so on and so forth. Because at the end of the day, my job is to understand how the concepts all fit together. Because once I get through getting the workbook completed, and then I'm able to knock out the enterprise specific topics for the enterprise workbook, put that into a video series, follow that up with CCMP service provider, knock out the topics you would see in both enterprise and in service provider, OSP, FP, GP, MPLS, those type of things, then I'll be able to pivot over to CCIE service provider. And that's really where the rubber meets the road for me and I need to dive deeper into the technology, debugs, whiteboarding, that type of stuff. So that is going to be coming, but I'm in no big hurry to get there, right? It's just, it's a day by day thing where I'm trying to understand how all this stuff works together. So. Um, while I was here, a couple of other books popped up on the Cisco Press thing, like the other things you might like. Um, so the first the one over here was Designing Real World Multi-Domain Networks. This one looks pretty good. I have not uh, looked into this one yet, but it looks like it's pretty good. It covers quite a bit of stuff. And then I deal a lot with cloud. So what I would do then is I would look at zero trust in the cloud. And this book looks pretty good. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, it is really... It's, just came out like it's a couple months old so I would this is another book that I would probably read up on just because of the fact that it's got some relatively uh, good information in it and I would want to dive into that information so um, that is that so with that being said I wanted to keep this one short I'm going to continue to press the keep the gas pedal pressed on SR but I'm also going to be cognizant of what I don't know so until next time guys you guys have a good one